Macy and Joshua declare their belief that it is God's sovereign and providential will that they commit themselves to one another and become one flesh. And for this reason, we gather not only for a ceremony, but we also gather for worship because this moment of change has been ordained and designed by God. Macy Alexandra, I vow to make Christ the center of our marriage because he first loved us and only with Jesus can our marriage last and grow. I promise to pursue him first so that I can love you like he does. You have opened up my heart to what true Christ-like love means. You have been there in my darkest moments, in my most vulnerable days, in my weakest of hours, and you have stayed steadfast in reminding me of how much I am loved by you. You have softened my heart, made me more compassionate, and only slightly less stubborn. <laughs> I'm eternally grateful that our God didn't bless me with the man of my dreams. He has given me so much more than I could have ever fathomed with you. I promise that I will pray for you, with you, and over you. I promise to point you to Christ in good times and bad times. I promise that I will read and study his word with you and that together we will pursue his purpose for us. I promise to repent when I sin and rely on God to give me the strength to be the leader he calls me to be. You are the strongest, most compassionate, caring man I know. You teach me and inspire me to be brave and not allow my fears to consume my decisions. You have taught me the importance of patience, kindness, and humility. And you time and time again encourage me to live a bold and confident life, always trusting that God has a greater plan than I could ever have for myself. I'm constantly in awe of how absolutely amazing you are, and I can't wait to watch you become a father someday. To spend the rest of my life by your side is a gift that I will cherish until the day that the Lord calls me home. Everything about who Macy is, is for me, a vision. It's been a story. It's just been a, like a, a video of her life, right? And today, it's just continued to flow. Words can't express from a mother. I'm happy because Mason and I made a pact a long time ago. I was a strict mother, but we made a pact. And she said, Mom, I'll never marry someone that you don't approve of. It wasn't hard for me when I met Joshua. And not just because of who Joshua is, it's because, because of Macy's expression when she told me about Joshua. Today we jump into the unknown journey of marriage, but I know that this new life together will be far from safe, but full of love, hope, adventure, forgiveness, and courage. Although this life will bring uncertainty, doubt, and pain like nothing we've ever experienced before, my heart aches to become one with yours, and it is such a joy to navigate this new territory with a best friend like you. I promise to never give up on growing with you. I promise to lead you tenderly and lovingly. I promise to cherish your opinions and value your wisdom. I promise to be the first to say I'm sorry, the first to reach out after fights, the first to take responsibility, the first to sacrifice, and the first to forgive. I love to read stories of how men and women in our military, when they're on the front lines of war, how they'll lay their lives down for each other. Marriage is a lot like a war. Josh, if you and Macy keep your marriage consistently on the front lines of true Christian mission, where it's sometimes messy and sometimes dangerous, if you guys are on mission together on the front lines, you'll find yourselves consistently laying your lives down for each other. As soon as you leave the front lines and you make priorities in your marriage, your career, your home, your possessions, vacations, if those things become the priority, well, within time, you'll start to bicker with each other, you'll start to fight with each other, and you might even start to hate each other. So Josh and Macy, my prayer for both of you is that you live out your marriage with Jesus as your leader, and you stay on the front lines as much as possible. Love you guys. Marriage brings a new liberty, according to the wisdom and design of God. And what a blessed and glorious reality. The goal of marriage is to become one flesh and represent the ultimate marriage between Christ and his bride, the church. You are my best friend, my rock, my today, and my forever. More than in just this moment of pure bliss, but in times of sorrow, 
and in times of brokenness. I promise to choose you. I promise to support you in the midst of every trial. I promise to be loyal to you. I promise to love you with all of my heart and to trust you to lead me and our family. I promise to be your best friend and your biggest fan. I promise to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. I promise to date and flirt with you for the rest of our life. I promise to surprise you and make you feel loved. I promise to go out of my way to make your life full of passion and love. I promise to fight through all of my fears and insecurities for us. I promise to pursue our family and children with that same love. I promise to be present. I promise to love them and lead them and never give up on them. I promise to study and learn and take advice and to become the best and most loving father and husband I can. I promise to never stop pestering you to take pictures with me <laughs> and experience all the wonderful adventures this world has to offer. I dedicate my life to sacrificing for you, challenging you, submitting to you, respecting you, and loving our families. I promise to fight fair. I promise to forgive you and above all else point you back to the cross, reminding you of our Lord's everlasting perfect love and promise to provide. I love you with all that I am, Joshua, and today I choose a lifetime of being your wife. I promise that through thick and thin, through good and bad, through conflict and peace, whether rich or poor, in sickness and health, I will do my best each day to love you and our family as Christ loved me, unconditionally, sacrificially, eternally. These are my vows to you before God, our family, and our friends. Macy Alexandra, I am yours and yours alone from this day until my last day. Joshua and Macy, you've, you have really weathered the first storm together. <laughs> and if you can do this, you can make it through anything. And for as much as you have agreed to be joined together in marriage and have witnessed the same before God and all present, and you have sealed that with the exchange of vows and rings, by the authority granted to me as a minister of Jesus the Christ, I announce you husband and wife. And those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Joshua, congratulations. You may kiss your beautiful bride. a strong man of God who loves you more than words can say, but always backs it up with his actions. He is beyond intentional and you are so, so blessed to have found a man who loves you the way that Josh does. Um, again, thank you for standing beside me on my day and I'm so happy to stand beside you on your day. What I want to toast us to is to collectively stay engaged in their lives. And it's our jobs to stay involved in their lives and to, yes, let them be independent people, moms, looking at you moms, but to encourage them and to speak a strong word to them when they need to hear it. And so that's on all of us, and I challenge us to keep on doing that. You have an uh, incredible amount of drive. Um, you're very purposeful, and when you set your mind on something, uh, you do it 100%, and this is very evident in how we have seen you pursue Macy. Um, and how you've been very uh, serving towards her and have loved her and gone to great lengths uh, to uh, just help her. Josh has the ability to love and encourage people in a way that is very specific to them. And uh, he was the first one in our family uh, to start taking our little sister on dates. And the way he pursued Macy romantically was just very evident about, he was just very specific and detailed to love Macy the way that would mean most to her. Marriage is a big commitment and it can be scary at times. And so we just want to close with this quote from scripture. First John 4.18 says, there's no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. And we love because he, Jesus, loved us first. So we propose a toast, the Schumacher Bros, 
that Josh and Macy would use their gifts to love each other, love others, and secondly, draw that love from Jesus Christ. Please welcome for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Schumacher. Yeah.